You started a new job, but something doesn't seem right. The warning signs keep piling up and you can't ignore them any longer. Are you in a toxic work environment? Don't worry. This video will guide you through the signs to look for. So, what are the common indicators of a toxic work environment? It can be draining, both physically and emotionally. Not only does it affect you, but it also takes a toll on those around you. Even when you leave work, the stress and lack of sleep follow you home. This toxic environment can also harm your health and hinder your career growth. If you feel like you're failing at the job you know you're good at, it might be time to consider moving on. With our extensive experience working with corporate recruiters and HR professionals, we've talked to many candidates who have dealt with a toxic workplace. In this video, we'll share with you some of the signs to help you determine if that's your situation. And if it is, it's time to start planning your exit. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First, a high rate of voluntary turnover is a warning sign. It's normal for some employees to leave a company, but a high rate of departures from the department or company suggests trouble. Pay attention to employees quitting, not those who were fired or asked to leave. If many employees are quitting, it could be a red flag. Good companies usually have low turnover rates and try to help employees grow their careers. But if you see a lot of people leaving, it's important to pay attention and do research. Check reviews on Glassdoor. Ask people in the department and consider these factors during the interview process. Ask the interviewer why the position is open. Knowing this information can help you make an informed decision before joining a new organization. The second sign is excessive involuntary turnover. This is when the company lets employees go, either by firing or terminating them. If you are considering joining a company with a reputation for firing people for minor mistakes, or not meeting high goals, it's a warning sign. These types of companies tend to make hasty decisions based on market changes and think they can easily call employees back later. This shows poor management or a lack of concern for employees. It's important to find a company that values its employees and has stability. Also, watch out for bosses who fire employees without good reason. This creates an unstable and toxic work environment. Next up is ever-changing targets. A work environment where your goals keep changing is toxic because you never know what to aim for. When everyone has different goals, it leads to frustration and competition instead of teamwork. If you're in a situation where there are winners and losers, it's not a good place for success. It's like chasing a carrot that keeps moving just out of reach. This creates a sense of insecurity and ties your compensation to it. This is not a good way to have a career. Now let's talk about the next one. Bad reviews. To get a feel for the work culture, check out reviews on sites like Glassdoor and Indeed. You may see some complaints from current or past employees. Bigger companies will have more reviews, but look for common themes. Remember, people are more likely to leave a review when they're unhappy, so take them with a grain of salt. Check what people are saying about the leadership. Are they following the company values? Are they setting realistic expectations? Are the benefits and pay competitive? Do they treat employees with respect or lay them off easily? What's the work-life balance like? Reviews can give you a good idea of what to expect, and that's why good companies pay attention to exit reviews to identify trends and improve. Remember to be careful with reviews because some companies might fake them. They might ask their employees to write positive reviews and stack them all together. If you see a bunch of reviews close together that seem fake, take them with a grain of salt. But even fake reviews can be a sign of a toxic workplace, so keep an eye out for that too. Next off, let's talk about the win-at-all-cost mentality. This attitude starts at the top and creates a toxic work environment. Being competitive in the workplace is fine, but it has to be done right. If your company is doing unethical or illegal things just to make more money, it's time to rethink your situation. These types of companies only care about money, leaving you at the bottom of the ladder. If your boss prioritizes winning over doing what's right, watch out. The next red flag of a toxic work environment is work-life balance, or the lack of it. Companies, especially bosses, who push for excessive hours are toxic. Most jobs should be done in 40 hours. If you're always working 60 plus hours a week, either your company is understaffed, overworking you, or both. Some industries value excessive hours as part of their culture. If that's your industry, think about it. 
If your boss values face time over actual work, it's a sign of a toxic boss. A good boss won't call you on nights and weekends. If your boss is asking you to check in while you're on vacation, it's a red flag for a toxic work environment. Sure, you might need to work some long hours to get a job done or meet a deadline, but it shouldn't be a regular thing. More and more people are looking for a good work-life balance when they take a new job. It's important to consider because you can't get those hours back and you don't want to miss out on important moments in your personal life. If you're routinely working 60 plus hours a week, it's worth thinking about if the job is the right fit for you. Another sign of a toxic work culture is dishonesty. If your company doesn't follow its core values, you're in a toxic environment. Dishonesty can come in different forms, from leaders who don't follow their own principles to co-workers who lie to get what they want. These toxic people can ruin your career quickly, so watch out if you're surrounded by dishonest people. If you have a co-worker who goes to your boss behind your back, it's also a sign of a toxic work environment. Conflict with co-workers is normal, but it should be resolved through open communication. Going around you and directly to your boss for every little issue erodes trust and creates a stressful work environment. If someone has an issue with your work, they should give you the chance to address it directly. If this behavior continues, it's not a healthy work situation. The next big red flag for a toxic work culture is when there's a lot of gossip going around. Sure, some office talk is normal, but when it becomes excessive, it can be a big problem. Take a look around your workplace. You can probably spot who the big gossips are. If you can, it might even be you. Just kidding. But if you hang around those gossips, your career won't last long. So if you want to keep moving up in your company, stay away from the gossip circles. If people label you as a gossiper, it'll be tough to shake that reputation and people will always associate you with that. Plus, too much gossip can lead to a lot of HR headaches. Save yourself the trouble and stay out of the gossip and focus on your work instead. The last major sign that you are in a toxic work environment is bad bosses. That's going to be one of the quickest ways to be looking for a new job. Because in most cases, people quit bosses, not jobs. We all know a great boss makes a world of a difference in the type of work culture you're in, and a bad boss can negatively impact it the fastest. So, if you find yourself dealing with a bad boss, you probably want to think about updating your resume. If you're in a work environment that's toxic, it's important to determine whether the issue is with one individual or if it's pervasive throughout the company. If it's an individual issue, transferring to a different department may be worth considering. However, if the entire company is problematic, it's time to think about your career and prioritizing your well-being. While you should do your best to stick it out, taking proactive steps to move your career forward is crucial. In your next job search, we recommend watching our related video. 10 questions to ask the hiring manager during your job interview. Thank you for tuning in and we hope to see you in the next one.